The human body is about 75% water. Known fact, right? A person can actually survive about a month without food and roughly about five to seven days without water. One cannot stress enough the importance of water to life and living, and mostly to the human, animals, and plants, and essentially everything that exists in life on this earth. Water can actually be used in various forms. It could be used iced or steamed, but whichever way is dependent on the user. Of all the uses of water, the most important use of water is for bathing, for drinking, for cooking, for washing or cleaning, for industrial purposes. Yes, many industrial businesses and production purpose that goes on in the world today, water is actually an essential ingredient. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Still Lifestyle, which is versatile. And if this is your first time of stopping by here, please click the notification bell and also subscribe. Yes, you want to subscribe so that you are notified when a new content drops. This is basically about lifestyle tips, health and wellness, coming from the perspective of a single parent. focus today is basically on drinking water and its benefits. I'll also share tips that will help you improve your health and life altogether. Not only is drinking water meant to quench our thirst, it actually promotes vitality inside out. It beautifies the skin, of course it does, by eliminating toxins from the body. It lubricates the joints, it keeps the brain neurons active and firing, it regulates our metabolism, it promotes elimination and boosting of energy, and also great for weight loss. I'm sure you knew that. Now I'll be sharing tips about drinking water. Tip number one, you want to drink water when you feel thirsty. Many of us actually ignore our body's signal requesting for us to give it water. Now, sometimes our body signals us that it needs water most times when we yawn. Yes, that's actually a number one regulator the body gives to you that it needs water. But how many of us are actually listening to our bodies? Well, now you know. Whenever you yawn again, instead of thinking that you might be tired or thinking that you need to sleep or thinking that you are hungry, how about think, oh, I'm thirsty. Yeah, because there are some people who really do not feel thirsty. So the body just gives you that regulation um, through that regulator that it needs to drink water. So please don't ignore your body when it asks you for water. Tip number two, the average human adult body needs about eight liters of water to keep it functioning throughout the day. But this is actually dependent on food, the weather, exercise, if you sweat a lot, and many other factors. So. All of, these, um, all of these conditions could determine if you need more or less, but averagely you need about eight liters of water. But come to think of it, who's actually counting how many liters I'm drinking? How can I know how many liters I'm drinking? Well, here in Nigeria, where I'm based, there are various ways we get our water. Most of us get our tap water being supplied by the water board, while others buy their water. So we could buy the those who can afford it, by bottled water and those who can't go for the pure water we know we know this is pure water but this is also sachet water in sachet most of them have it as 50 cl's others call it um, 60 cl but we really do not know but i have been able to measure it this particular content i turned it into this bottle i'm sure many of us are familiar with this bottle and this bottle is about 75 cl so i have turned it in here and this gives us 50 cl so to ensure that it's actually 75 you need about half of this which will stop somewhere here to give you um, the 75 CL complete bottle. Of course, you know that most of this water don't get to fill up to the brim, right? So this gives you, this is actually what a 50 CL um, looks like. But your body needs how many? Eight liters. So here's what a liter looks like. So this is a liter of water. I'm sure you're familiar with this bottle. I am not advertising any product I'm not advertising for any company I'm not paid to advertise for anybody okay I'm just using this for illustration so this bottle is contained with water right now and this is actually a liter so you want to have about eight of this for your day so how much are you drinking maybe now you know you would want to check that out right okay so th tip number three you can sip water throughout your day rather than gulp. Now, because you want to drink water, you would want to just, okay, and maybe for those who are not really um, keen on drinking water or do not have the habit of actually drinking water, you can actually substitute by sipping your water throughout your day, okay? So it helps the body absorb better. 
okay so you could try it out tip number four your urine color is an indicator of how hydrated you are so if it is fairly clear then that shows you are super hydrated but if it is dark yellow and that's an indicator that you need to increase your water intake okay so tip number five it is best to have your water at room temperature or better still warm okay you don't want to have it cold but i know sometimes the weather kind of makes us want to drink cold water but even if you do do not make it a habit to always take cold water the reason is cold water slows digestive fire and you don't want to do this to yourself so that you do not have constant um indigestion okay tip number six you want to ensure that your water is pure and clean oh yeah that should have come first right but whenever it comes the most important thing is that you're ensuring that you're drinking clear clean water your water shouldn't have taste shouldn't have color no it should be pure clean water and if possible you might want to boil your water before drinking mostly for those who do tap water okay just to ensure that you're taking something clean tip number seven you want to limit water intake at meal times yes so it's better to not take water at all while you're eating but even if you must then you take few sips before during and after but be aware that your digestion is weakened if you drink too much water while eating. So now let's head on right to the health benefits of drinking water. We know how important water is by now, right? But do we know um, actually the right times or the special times to actually drink water? In as much as we've said that it's best to take water throughout your day. But now I'm going to be sharing with you those special times that you get to take water. Well, drinking water at the right time actually maximizes its effectiveness on the human body. So let's get right to it. The first time that is ideal to take water is immediately you wake up. So you want to take a glass of water, you want to take a liter of water, or best still just do a session of water um, when you wake up. Now this helps to activate the internal organs, okay? And most times, if you are of the habit of drinking water, you will find that once you've taken water, your stomach um, runs and you go head to the toilet, you know, to empty your bowels. That's actually how it happens for me. And it's a good habit. Okay. You want to develop that habit, but overall it just activates the internal organs. Now, um, the second time or another time to take water in your day is actually 30 minutes before and after meal. You want to take this before and after meal because it actually helps to aid digestion it helps with your digestive purpose and remember while sharing the tips i did mention it's not best it's not ideal to take water um, during food right so you want to take it before food and after food 30 minutes before is also an ideal time and then another time you want to take water is before you have a bath Yes, taking um, a glass of water before you have your bath helps to lower your blood pressure. Health benefit number four, about 90% of heart attacks occur early in the mornings. Check it, go check it out. Now, it can be reduced if you take a glass of water, a liter of water or whatever, but make sure you're taking water before you hit the sheets. Yes, before you go to sleep, you want to take water as well. So this helps calm your whole system and also helps you sleep better. Another time you would want to take water in your day is before and after you exercise yes the reason for this that's basically for those who actually exercise the reason for this is that taking water before you exercise and after you exercise helps to lubricate your nerves helps to lubricate your joints muscles and all of that so you want to drink water right before and after you're done exercising Capiche? now i'm sure that you have already um been able to pick up a thing or two about the importance of water and if you are um, someone who actually has a habit of drinking water, please comment. Let me know how the journey has been for you. But of course, while you take water, your skin looks luscious. Your skin looks um, beautiful. Like it comes out so nice. Really, it does. You could give this a try. And if you're not of the habit of actually drinking water, you could start now. It's never too late to start. Okay. So this has been me sharing tips with you about water and its importance. And I'm sure you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to like this video and watch other videos. Please. I also appreciate your comments as this helps me get interesting subjects to share with you often. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, love, and namaste.